Life isn't always the most forgiving thing in the world. For a few years, mine sucked. I had nothing. No friends, no motivation, nothing. I wasn't even close with my family. I bottled up everything and hated the world silently. I still hold that hate with me today, but rap made it easier to disperse. It made me want to fight back. It made me want to swing and get mad at everybody in the world. So I thought it would be a good idea, using the inspiration lended to me through music, to try and write my own. It did not start out the best. I failed to understand a lyricist's brain. Ah! Until I met him. All the negativity growing throughout the years has managed to manifest itself into something greater. Something crude. Something hateful. Powerful and resentful. It created a being that represents me, but also is nothing like me. It's the pure embodiment of all my hate, my misfortune, and my anger. It is the truest version of my worst self. His name is Kraken. The physical representation of all the things I couldn't do. All the things I wish I'd said, done, or wanted. All the pain I've wanted to cause. All the remorseless comments I've wanted to make. Everything that I am incapable of doing. The exact opposite of who I am. And yet, it's still me. He represents everything and anything you hate about yourself. All your misdeeds, your imperfections, and your negative affirmation. That is him. He's you. And your worst. He's my demons. He's your demons. And no matter how hard you fight, you won't always win. But there is one must. Never hand him complete control. If he manages to gain complete control, control over every aspect of your body, spiritually, mentally, physically, no matter what, a great dangerous evil will be unleashed from inside of you. And you'll never catch him without his hat, not once. He never wanted anybody knowing his identity. And more importantly, to prevent people from looking and seeing into his eyes. For it is said if you look into them, you become overwhelmed with violent hate. You see your inner demons for what they truly are. And by extension, you hide beneath your facade in day-to-day life. His I eyes are filled with the visions of what you never wanted to be. I'm your failure. Look into them and see who this is the beginning of the end, so I'm back to sin again. again. So, here so here I go, picking up the pen and start writing. Severe pain, no, no, no. Ready, set, go.